Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is a simple yet interesting little problem that has to deal with translating words into a mathematical meaning. So let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. It says cube the sum of negative six and four. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you do this problem without the aid of a calculator. However, even if you used a calculator, you're going to need to know how to interpret this phrase to get an answer. And really, this is the kind of the main point of this video is practicing how to translate verbal phrases into a mathematical phrase. So if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. Cube, the sum of negative six and four. What do we have? Well, the correct answer is negative eight. Okay, so hopefully most of you out there got this right. If you didn't get this right, do not uh, uh, get discouraged. Uh, after your, uh, this quick video, you'll totally understand this. But uh, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+. Plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in translating verbal phrases into mathematical phrases, which is extremely important in mathematics, especially in word problems, okay? So most people, you know, when you think about uh, what really gives people, uh, generally speaking, the most trouble in mathematics is word problems, right? They're like, oh my goodness, I don't wanna do a mathematical word problem. And uh, typically the reason why is because you have to translate uh, words, sentences, phrases into math. Okay, now that's like step one. And generally that's the most confusing step. But then, of course, uh, uh, you're going to have to solve the remaining mathematics, uh, you know, the, the math prompt to get your answer. Right. So this um, kind of translation, this step is typically, can, um, you know, can pose some challenges to some students. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this problem. This is a simple example of translating. Now, these words here hopefully are not too difficult to understand, but let's go ahead and just take a look at the main words we have to get here. So we have to understand the word cube, and we have to understand the word sum. Okay, and of course, we need to uh, know how to deal with positive and negative numbers, but let's go ahead and talk about the word sum. So what does it mean to find the something, uh, the sum of something or sum of numbers? It means add up those numbers, right? So most of us uh, probably knew that. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples of how we uh, use the sum. So for example, the sum of three and two would be three plus two, okay? Now, here is a huge point of this video, okay? And probably one of the main reasons, um, you know, I made the video, I had this in mind. Anytime you are dealing with the sum or difference, the difference is when you subtract, okay? So anytime you're adding or subtracting two or more numbers or variables, I want you to use parentheses around those numbers, okay? So uh, the sum of three and two, uh, yes, you can write it as three plus two, but I want you to write it as a group. This is going to um, save you from making um, potential mistakes, especially in algebra, just getting that habit sums and differences, put them in grouping symbols, okay, i.e. parentheses. So the sum of three and two, we want to write as parentheses, three plus two, and parentheses, of course, that is five. Okay, now, again, this is applicable in algebra. So if you have a statement like the sum of A and B, you want to write, it, you want to write it as A plus B, not just as A plus B. We want to use the parentheses A plus B, okay? So again, sum and differences, get in the habit of using parentheses. Okay, so now let's go and talk about this second word that we have to know something about, and that is cube, okay? So we want to cube the sum of negative six and four, and hopefully you're familiar with that word. But uh, the cube, all this means is to take whatever number or variable that you're dealing with and multiply by itself three times. Let's, do, uh, let's go and take a look at a simple example. So we'll cube two, okay? So the cube of two would just be the, hey, take two and multiply it by itself three times. So two times two times two 
uh, two times two is four, four times two, of course, is eight. And one thing that we want to kind of keep in mind is that we can um, write this as a power. So two cubed, you can write as two to the third power. So this little three up here is what we call the exponent. The two is the base. So this is perfectly fine as well, but two to the third power, you could say as uh, two um, uh, cubed, right? Just as you can say, this is two squared or two to the second power. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how this works with variables. So two cubed, right, or cubed to, uh, x, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm all over the place here. Uh, we want to cube x. What does that mean? Well, just take x and multiply it by itself three times. x times x, x times x is x cubed. All right, so hopefully now we understand cube and sum. So let's go ahead and put this all together and do the problem. So we're going to cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. First thing we want to do is find the sum of negative 6 and 4. And again, we want to write sums and differences using parentheses. So we're going to put parentheses, negative 6 plus 4 in parentheses. The answer is negative 2. Now, if at this point in uh, this particular problem, if you're, you know, a little bit shaky on positive and negative numbers or anything here, kind of basic mathematics, let me suggest checking out my Math Foundations course. I really go over, pause, you know, all the basics, all the foundations that you need. It's not a full lengthy course. It's, I really just focus on the uh, kind of main core um, fundamentals that you really need, especially to be successful in more advanced math like algebra. So I'm talking about positive, negative numbers, fractions, decimals, percent, things of that sort. Okay, so if you're confused on this, check out that course. Also, I have additional videos on all this stuff as well on my YouTube channel. All right, so the sum of negative 6 and 4 is negative 2. And we want to cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. Of course, we just uh, found out that that is negative 2. So we're going to end up cubing uh, negative 2. So the cube of negative 2 is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And looking at the problem here, what we want to do is just take, um, you know, this problem, kind of break it up. So negative 2 times negative 2 and negative times negative is positive. So this is a positive 4. I'm going to multiply it by a negative 2. A positive times a negative is negative, so we're going to end up with negative 8. And thus we have solved the problem or, you know, answered the question negative 8. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another way that you could write this problem. Uh, cube the sum of negative 6 and 4. So you could write it this way, parentheses negative 6 plus 4 and parentheses cubed. So here, you might want to be thinking about the order of operations, PEMDAS, right? P-E-M-D-A-A-S, because here we have addition and we have uh, powers. So this is why it's so critical to write um, sums and differences with parentheses. So when you're looking at um, the order of operations, and hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Again, all this is covered in my uh, foundations course, but the order of operations tells us what to do first. So what are we going to do first? We're going to go P. We're going to do what's inside parentheses first. So that's this right here. Okay, so negative 6 plus 4, of course, is negative 2. After that, we're going to go to E, which is powers or exponents. So negative 2 cubed, of course, is negative 8. Okay, so hopefully this little video is just a quick uh, kind of refresher on the importance of translating words into mathematical uh, statements and meaning. Okay, this is critical, um, not only in arithmetic, uh, all levels of mathematics. Hopefully this little video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.